touch my toes, touch my toes. Okay, that's way too cold. Yep, gonna leave. Good afternoon everyone. It is finally nice enough out for me to go back to the beach. I don't have a microphone attached to this, so you're just gonna have to bear with me. I'm in Salisbury, Massachusetts. I have somehow never been here before, even though it's one of the two boardwalks we have in this entire state. And I've been wanting to come, and it's like almost 80 degrees out today, so I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna ride those Florida vibes, and I'm gonna go to the beach. So let's check this place out. We got a lovely mermaid over here. Watch out, Ariel, you've got some competition. This ice cream spot looks hopping. There's so many people at it right now. It must be like the ice cream spot, except there's like seven of them. So where do you even start? Okay, so this is Joe's Playland, which is an arcade, which is currently closed. It's not open right now. Uh, I don't think it opens until later on in the year. I really can't see inside. But I see a Batman mobile and Jerry from Tom and Jerry. Also, Jilly's Pizza and all their I don't know, I think they have fried foods and stuff. Not open yet. This isn't because of COVID. I just want to assure everybody about that. That's just how it is in New England. We're only open for five months of the year. <laughs> and then it closes down for the endless winter. Again, Happy's Fried Dough. Not open yet. So while it's beautiful today, I'm gonna have to come back here at some point when it's fully open in the summer. That's a really questionable corn dog. Even more food and restaurants that you can walk up to that are closed. It looks like a lot of stuff on this side is open. Oh, Joe's Playland is open on that side. Okay, we can go in, sweet. Let's take this, let's play some games. Look at all the pinball. We're gonna have to play Deadpool and Jurassic Park. This is what I'm gonna do. Look at this, there's so many X-Men characters. We've got Mystique and Juggernaut and Mr. Sinister. Even Sauron's on here, so when was this made? If you go up further, we got Cable underneath the rail and you got Wolverine and Glosses. It's totally crazy. So it's gonna take a gander that I'm probably too tall to ride this carousel. As my glasses continue to fog up, I wish I'd wear my contacts. You can even gamble here. Like, for not tickets, for actual money. Get some Bingo Reno. No way, they have a retro road blasters machine. I have not actually seen one of these in person. It's not even on. I can hear the music, but it's not on. Hey, Peekaboo. If you were here, you would love this. This place is so awesome. It really has that old school boardwalk vibe that I have not gotten in years. Oh my god, it's all retro stuff up here. Pac-Man Plus? Oh my god, I don't think I've even played on one of these machines before, if you can even believe that. And I played a lot of Pac-Man. Oh, whoops. That was not the video. They've got a party room up here, which is actually super cool. I keep on seeing this one picture of the devil everywhere, which is really funny that that's in the children's party room. They've got some of the tops of arcade cabinets in there, and you can see that one says Donkey Kong on there. You get the old Popeye machine. I have that actual game on the Nintendo. Donkey Kong. So these are just all like pieces of arcade machines that are hung up on the walls, and that's really freaking cool. I just had that moment when I realized that mask was on upside down, which happens to me all the time. This place takes actual quarters. That's crazy, like it's been years. I've always been using those cards to swipe. Okay, 
this just looks terrifying. It's so boardwalky. Oh my god. I love it. Big Bertha! I haven't seen one of these machines since Discovery Zone, which was a giant Chuck E. Cheese up in New England. I don't know if there was more of them, but I haven't seen her like in 20 years, over 20 years. Like, she was a part of a nightmare I had once. I mean, look at her mouth. It's terrifying. I'm not getting any of them in her mouth. There we go. So here's the Blue Ocean Event Center which has a restaurant and a big event hall inside. I mean, I want to work for Disney, but if I wanted a backup plan, and if I was gonna stay in New England, it would be to work for here, doing event management. But I don't want to live in New England, so that's not gonna happen. Okay, also, this is where they have a music hall, so they can have bands and other music events happen. Clearly, it's not open because of COVID, but if it were, you know I would be in there. So, I'm about to go get in one of those really long lines for food, because I want to go eat something on the beach. They got pizza, so I'm probably set up with some pizza right now. Just like one slice, one slice is enough for me. Okay, so I got some pizza from Christie's Pizza. There was a line next to it for another pizza place that was way longer, and I'm 90% certain it's that it's because it's been around longer than Christie's has. So I got some Christie's, I'm gonna try it out and tell you how I feel. I'm also sitting on the beach on this beautiful day with all these other people that are feeling the same vibe. Got my feet tucked in the sand where they belong. So first up, we got the mushroom pizza. I mean, it's pretty standard. It's just mushroom and pizza. Oh my god! Like mushrooms aside, it's got like that crisp, like that crispiness that I haven't tasted in a really long time. Like something you can really only get like at a carnival or at a boardwalk. Drop mushrooms. Okay, on to regular cheese now. God. Okay, I like this more than the mushroom. Wow. It just has that right crispy, saucy cheesiness to it that just like kind of flashbacks to like pizza I ate when I was a kid. Mm. Yeah, that's a winner. Crispy's pizza. So now I'm walking along the beach. Now that they can hear me, I'm gonna go put my feet in the water and see how cold it is. You can watch me react as I run away because then the north, it's freezing. Right, here it is. Oh, let's do it. Come on, touch my toes. Touch my toes. Oh, okay, that's way too cold. Yep, gonna leave. Not one of those polar divers. Nope, no polar diving for me. Bye bye. Can you imagine living in one of these condos? Okay, like look at this. They're beautiful, they're gorgeous. And look at that view. Oh my God, that is a life goal right there. Not in New England for me. It's too cold up here for me. But if I could get that in like San Diego or like um, St. Pete, I would love that. Here's the goal, followers. Support me on Patreon <laughs> and I can take us on more adventures like this one. And we can just keep on growing this channel and maybe I can live out on the beach. And I'll take you all with me every day. This is for us, it's not just for me. We're doing these things together. <laughs> <laughs> okay, even these ones here, which are just really basic, they have like one small balcony. I would love that. I mean, to wake up and walk out and sit on your porch, drink your morning coffee. I mean, I don't drink coffee and just, but like have your breakfast and look out at that every day. Gorgeous. The dolphin here is open and I hear music. Well, that's not apocalyptic or anything. So should you need deodorant or any kind of toiletry while you're at the beach here, they have it here at the discount store. And it really is a discount. Actually, never mind. you can get this at the dollar store for a dollar. But for three bucks, being right at the beach, that's pretty good. And don't forget your toothbrush. There's also a random collection of DVDs and VHS in the corner, including the original Batman. I understand why the books are here, because if you want to read something on the beach, you can come buy something real quick and read on the beach. What are you going to do with the VHS? <laughs> I mean, besides me, who else has a VCR? Joe's Playland, celebrating 100 years of fun. That's how long this place has been around. That's super cool. So it's not open right now because it's still off season, but right there is a carousel that you can go on and ride. I don't know how old it is, but I know it's old. And I really want to go on it, so that means we're gonna have to make a trip back here with some other friends that wanna come and spend some time on the beach in the arcade and on these rides. I'm loving this place, it's such my vibe. 
Okay guys, I did something crazy, and by crazy, this is crazy for me. I got ice cream here unprovoked. Now if you know me, I'm not somebody that typically sits down and gets ice cream. Like, I just kind of like yogurt and that's about it. But something about all this day, is just, it was calling to me. And Katie wasn't even here to convince me to do it. But I couldn't help it, they had some sort of like, chocolate chip cookie dough nonsense happening. So, we're gonna try that. First bite. Chewy. Wow, this brings me back to high school. <laughs> Reminded me of this time that my friend Cal, Ryan and I were all, we went to like the pharmacy, or it was like a convenience store, and we got like a tub of ice cream each and ate it on the sidewalk. <laughs> That's what this is bringing me back to. Oh, brain freeze. Oh, I am full of so much nostalgia and also nostalgic food in my stomach. I had pizza and ice cream today, which is not healthy. <laughs> but it was delicious. This place is awesome. I'm really kind of like surprised that my family and my friends never came here when I was a teenager. So being back in Massachusetts right now, it's like really weird to be visiting a place that's like this cool that's been here for like over a hundred years. <laughs> and I love it. There's an arcade, there's so much food. There's a back alley full of like bars and pubs. If you like a good dive, they definitely have some of those. Also, massive parking lot if you need a place to park. So you don't need to worry about that. And now we get to play the magic of how are we gonna get home because my phone died and I'm gonna have to let it charge for a while to even get access to my GPS. And then used it the whole time. I kept on going live, which is a good thing. I've been going live a lot. So follow my Instagram and my Twitter because I'm going live on there like all the time and Twitch too. But yeah, let's get this thing charged so I can keep moving. <laughs> and of course, because this is Massachusetts, not only did I hit like two hours worth of traffic for this hour long drive on my way to the beach, but I am also hitting it again on the way back because this is what Massachusetts is like. No, this is not classic rock. No, do not do, not do this to me. Don't make me feel old. Don't do it. That wraps up today's adventure to Salisbury Beach Boardwalk. Totally awesome. I am absolutely gonna go back with some friends because, I mean, that place is great. It was like a nostalgia trip for me and I've never been there before. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. If you really wanna find me, you can find me on TikTok too. And most importantly, please consider donating to my Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's a dollar to $25. Whatever you wanna donate, there's tiers and special things you can get and it helps me take us on more adventures like this one. Live your best life and every day is an adventure.